in action. I feel with the top 10 players of the table going through to stage two tomorrow. It's about Melling, Wu Kunlin and Skylar Woodward. So, Melling so lost 5-0 yesterday against Vietnamese Tien and 5-4 heartbreaker against so Piglivanovic. That cost him dearly, but he's still in it with a chance. He's playing Seo and then Oi and then Khalid Al Gamdi. Two matches where on paper he is supposed to win. On paper. But still in with a good chance to qualify. And Woodward knows it. Wukun Lin knows it. She can bring the two ball up table or bring the cue ball up table, but needs to figure out what to do with the two. Or run it into the three, but then the cue ball will miss speed. Or an overcut. I think she played a shot to nothing there. Worked out nicely with the snooker behind the five, but I still like it as an idea because a very straightforward safety was not available. With the shot clock, she managed to to find a so solution that was okay to execute. Extension code. Well, Melling's first shot is going to be one of these kick shots. These are the type of shots he seems to make quite consistently. Power shot, bow in hand. Scratch looked like it was always going to be there off the left side. It was always going to go close, of course. Start the clock, please. He was just trying to hit it a little fuller. Looking at the angle of this cut, needs left spin to avoid the nine ball and then also watch out that it doesn't bite too much because then Extension. the corner pocket low left comes into play. well she's young Seo and it looks to me I must admit a little bit straightforward how she her technique but she has depth in her game like she, she has a quick brain I think it's difficult to make it look simple she does She could have gone forward off two rails there for position on the four. Decided to play like a sort of stun run through. Big six ball from here. Maybe she can play to the corner. Hoppa. <laughs> How about that for a stroke? Yeah, thumped the four ball in the corner. No letting back. She's actually coached off Gai Young Kim. Who was one of the best lady players. Probably getting on for 10 years ago. Gai Young Kim is a star in South Korea. Started as a three cushion player and now occasionally gets back to three cushion as that's the big game in South Korea. The, the big game it's bigger than pool in the philippines they have a channel that broadcasts 24 hours a day three cushion billiards yeah and that's what it, she is playing over there so she's still competing almost done this Oh, 
Well, just like she did in the previous match, Check she took the rack. opening rack. Solid. She looks really solid. Clinical finish by Seo. A little lucky with that snooker behind the five ball. And now Chris Melling to break. Keep his calm. Yes, he's the favor on paper against Seo. But it's day five, pressure's high. The situation is urgent. Yeah, I wonder if Chris Check is on keeping on a little nosy on the other table Waiting because he knows he's on the same points as Wu Kun Lin. Wu Kun Lin's in 10th, Melling in 11. Wu Kun Lin has a game in hand. But he's 4 to up over there, so... Melling's just got to focus on his own job at hand, of course. He's made a ball, but he's hooked. He has a glimpse of the one. Don't think he'll do something with it because that side pocket is big on the left. Push Looking out. To play a push. Tying up the six ball. No, not really. Just use the six ball to position the cue ball. What does CEO have? She can overcut the one in between the two and four and bring the cue ball back down, but then the five ball is a big ball. She can cross it, bank the one ball down table. I like that, and use the two ball to hide behind. Or is she attacking the one-two combination? I feel that's too tough from here. Oh. What a killer. We're going to see Soa go airborne here, a bit unlucky. I thought the cue ball was going to sneak out there. It just held up a little, so... Still, what, what impresses me, that Extension when she commits call. to a shot, I haven't seen her break down on a stroke. Not once, I think. Yeah, she continues the, the follow-through. Jump cue action looks to be pretty solid as well. Can she make this? Of course she can make it, so it goes airborne, Melling in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because now you go in the, into the match positive, being Chris, but it's a race to five. She's playing good, and then you start to think, okay. If she plays a little stop shot here and she doesn't try and draw back, just watch the way she plays these shots. No, she decided to draw it back. She hit that pure as well. But I've watched a couple of her games, and I also watched a couple of her matches when she played out in Vegas and won the title. And she really times them long shots nicely, just kills the cue ball dead at ease. Nice shot, hold the cue ball. Many a player might have come off the side rail and back out, but there's nothing wrong with this. She's going to use the back rail. Less is more. Table two, Wu Kun Lin. I've tried to keep you up to date with this because he's in a precarious position on the leaderboard. Well, this is a, a big point coming up. Four matches today he's got to play. Say you're on the left. Oi, oi, oi. An extreme cut after losing position on the seven. Very big, formidable chance goes astray. Wukun Lin gets the point he needed. 5-2 over Al Gamdi. 
Nelly and about to tie the match up with a gift from Soa. I think that's the one thing that probably lets her down. She plays so many good shots. And you think, yeah, now and again, maybe just chooses a wrong decision. Now and again. Yeah. Well, actually, my eyes were on Wu Kun Lin. I didn't see her lose position on the seven, so I don't know what she played. She tried to come back past it. She could have just played it for the top. Yeah. It was off the rail, dead easy. Yeah. Especially on these pockets. Correct. So, TV table, ice drink, speedy cloth. Makes it more difficult if you play with speed and spin makes it easy if you play at low speeds and use the full pocket. There are pros and cons. Now needs to shake it off that missed seven ball Seo. Just look for a good break. Good action. Yeah, that was a lot better. It really was. She's going to have a good look at the two here. She's going to have to play a shot from the three to the four. It, do, it does look like there's going to be a path there, though. We'll get another look in a moment. Up oh, next on table two, coming up, Pilovanovic. He's the man at the top of the table. Well, he's going to be playing all the Pearl Strickland. At the practice tables this morning, Earl was in good spirits. And we were talking, Shane, Earl and me, about the breath to hold or not hold the breath when you're aiming. And then Earl started doing that and making all the shots. He started holding the breath. Yes. No, I thought that was a thing. I thought everyone did that. You come in and ask me and I said, well, I hold. And then I asked you, you said, I don't know. <laughs> She's over on the cue ball. Again, the previous shot, Alex, I think she could have held the three ball for more angle and then used two rails coming above the middle. Because she's had to draw back into an area, so easy to get too much into it. And look at what's happened. Never lost a rack from the com box. Mm, good point. Needs a little love here. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it could have been worse. There's a bank on, but it's off angle. Cuba will travel away from... Melling's next shot. He's got a safety option on here as well. He's got to stay patient to the task here because he knows it's a must win. But of course he's attacking the bank. He's not made many of these banks though, has he? Seems to be on the four. The hmm. four is on. Chris Melling does not seem to be on just yet. We could be in for a surprise here. Yeah, it's a tough shot coming up. Look at the distance. It's not easy to control the cue ball. Look at the pace she's played it. Wow, how do you like that for a shot, Alex? Yeah, many players would have played that with drag. She played plain ball, just letting the cue ball roll. Nice view there, how she aligns and how her eyes go back and forth. Very calm. Little movement when she strikes. Got to be a little bit careful here. She plays it off the left rail, so off the second rail. You don't want to get too much into this and start going near the bottom right corner pocket. So she's got to find the right path. Yeah, good line. See how she stayed away from the corner? Side pocket is big enough. It looks to me like she has an angle on the seven where she can't hold for the eight to the corner. She looked at the corner. With a trace of reverse, check side. Managed to hold it. Ball to keep going a little more. 
So she's left herself a little bit of work. She's going into a generous pocket. She can afford to hit the rail. Nice addressing low in the cue ball. She's not going to roll this. Wants to play it with more authority. Nice. <laughs> so where's the Confident stroke to take the lead. Sayo 2 1 over British Chris Melling. Welcome back to Leicester. Yes, it is snowing outside and it is March. We was in Poland for the World Nine Ball Championships a few weeks ago. It was also snowing there, so I think we brought the weather with us. Melling to break. He's under a little bit of pressure. Good job holding that cue ball. Going across the table. Holding the line, not falling down table, which you see with so many players. Yeah, there's been big discussions in the practice area about the FSR break, the Sanchez break, the way he curves the cue ball around under the stack. Players have been practicing that break. Why not closer to the four? Because then the cue ball would have reacted differently with more speed. Same thing here. With a rolling cue ball, he could get here. Was good enough. Not wasting any time, Chris Melling. Coming into his next shot, this is so nice. Off of the rail, into the line, always good. It's what you see with Filler a lot, Joshua Filler. Absent here in Leicester. He likes to play shots at double speed, meaning that he's coming into his next shot often, meaning That's that you can Leicester. chalk and get ready while the cue ball's still rolling, knowing you're in position. Yeah, it's a good break off from Mellon, which has helped him win rack four. Yeah, big day. The, um, okay, some people think the PLP takes a long time to heat up. Many matches, many matches. But the interesting thing is that we get to see the energy and the stamina and the endurance from the players. So tomorrow it's going to speed up. Five. Top so, 10 so players great. remain and then they'll play Correct. nine matches in two days. A lot is asked of the players. And who manages best? Yeah, I think from our point of view, because we're talking about it all, it, we kind of feel it starts today because we're going to lose players, aren't we? So this is what we're keeping an eye on today. It's a good break again. She's going to have to go airborne, though. Yeah. The going airborne itself is not a problem. She's supposed to pocket the two. It's all about the thickness of the hit. The thickness of the hit on the two determines the cubal speed. Yeah, she'd love to just miss the six and come off the top rail. It was always Gosh. on that. That was always the problem. Ball that was hand. because she didn't have any control with the cue ball. Earl the Pearl Strickland is just starting out on table two. He's playing Pearl Ivanovic, Matchroom Multisport YouTube channel where you can watch the Pearl. I suggest you watch that match because, well, we just don't know how long we're going to get to see the great legend Earl the Pearl in these type of events. Straight away, I'm looking at the little screen I've got Earl's. He's giving Sanji in the eyes. He's claiming Sanji's moving. Well, it's his visit. He's not happy with that, Earl. <coughs> Out of angle. Chris Melling's fallen short on the four. Oh. Yeah, I mean... 
didn't see that one coming from Chris. Straight into the back rail. Missed that by a long way. Yeah. He wasn't. It looked like he was not ready on that shot or he sensed that he was misaligned. Didn't have a fluent backswing. It puts pressure also on Seo to see that your opponent is struggling. Nice. There might be a gap. Still a good shot. Yeah, the nasty little shots then when you're behind them because the cue ball's got to roll all the way down the felt. And it just means if you hit it a little too thin or a little too thick, you're in a world of trouble. So the fact that she's got them both there, she's done, done very well indeed. There is a gap for Melling. Needs to be aware of the possible scratch. Low left. Did thick enough. Didn't scratch, but wide open, the four ball. And this match is wide open. At the beginning of the match, ed everyone would have said, Melling the favorite. He has a good lineup today. He has a chance to qualify, but one step at a time. And now 2-2, two, two, an open shot on the four. And struggling, Melling is. Well, how about this? So-so at the bookies' odds was 11-2 to two to win this match, Alex. Melly 1-10 to ten on. Mm, no good. Draw shots. Again, lack of control on a draw stroke. Yeah, unless you can draw it into the rail and back off the rail where you've got room for error. Now, she's got a bit of an angle. She's still OK. Because she wouldn't have to jack up severely. You can see how she's striking down on the cue ball. That's what we mean when we say jack up. That's the uh, the American terminology. And she's hit that ball well. Oh, did she hit it well. Clean strike. Perfect. Now, basically, the same speed as on her previous stroke. Punch it. And the heat is on, Chris Melling. A yeah, beautiful angle here. She can just softly draw the cue ball back out. And it's going to be another rack. And when you're watching Soa play, it's hard to believe. She's only won the two matches. You'd think she'd... More than capable of making more Can points than that. The rack. Now, Wu Kun Lin, we saw him on table two winning his opening match of the day. He'll be in the players' lounge or near the practice tables. As is Skylar Woodward. They'll be, they won't be unhappy, let me put it like that, seeing so 3 2 up against Chris Melling. As of now, Woodward and Wukun Lin are in the top 10. And Chris Melling is on 11th place. He's a contender. Needs to win this Practice match to keep Chris himself Melling in the race. Trailing 3-2. Buffing the FSR break, moving the cue ball in, trying to arc it below the nine or into the nine. It's gonna be dry. Dry end and easy safety for Soa behind the five. And the one ball, she can put the one ball in a position for a one nine combination. So if she can put it tight behind the five, force a ball on hand. Let's see. Ooh, that's a let off. Yeah, where's the one going to finish? It's going near the nine. Thought we might have a bit of one nine combo action, but I think I misread the angle on the one. Now, this is tricky, difficult, difficult to control the cue ball as well. Yeah. 
extension code. Needs to watch out what happens with the cue ball. How is he going to run into the four? Nicely done. So he recognized this and therefore attempted the one nine combination. I believe there's enough gap where she can just get over them balls, you know, with a jump stick. That or to the top rail. And I, I think she has a gap to the top Extension rail. Code. Bend it a little bit with the right spin, get to the one. This is tough. And especially if she hits high on the cue ball, it's going to slide so much. I don't think she has a chance to get to the one from here. Yeah, I was with you. She, you've almost got to stun it into the rail, haven't you, Starting to get it real pitch. close to the nine. I'm wondering if the little piece of sewer felt the two's tied up as well. Dangerous, though, you know, when you're giving someone like Chris Ball in hand, he's, he's capable of coming with something. Well, he's looking to get her on three fouls in nine ball. You win the wreck if you force three consecutive fouls by your opponent. Mm, not good enough, I feel. No, once you to be tight on that eight, that would have took away the bottom rail. Bottom rail with left spin. Gives her a big one ball. This is a funny one. I don't believe this is on. She's got to really get into it. And you've got to watch you don't hit the eight ball with your cue. No. Now she's in a bad spot. Oh, in hand. Yes, she didn't even look at the back rail past the nine, did she? She no. missed a trick there. Start the clock, please. She's on two. Now, tight behind the five, and he can also control. He should also look at controlling the one. Or in, in an open position, not near a rail, or really try and steer it behind the two and seven. How important is it to get the cue ball touch in the five here, Alex? As tight as she can. Well, mm. You're on too fast. she can go off the and top rail. Right. She can go off the top rail. It's important that going, if, oh, she's a big favorite to hit this, but you've got to make sure your hair on the right side of the one because you can come off the bottom rail as well. So got to hit a rail after contact. Let's not forget that. She's a big favorite to hit this. I think so. I would fancy it in this. Okay, maybe she's not a big favourite to it. I'm a big favourite to it, Alex. From the com box. Oh, wow. From the com box, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, with the system you could use, you know, yeah. from the corner to the corner, she can transfer it over. The top players sure. would hit that ball. But she didn't hit it. And now this match is tied at 3-3 because she's had three fouls on the spin. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back to see how this match finishes up. Welcome back to day five here in the snowy Leicester. We've just seen Mel in three foul. So Sower to tie the match up, Sower to break. Put everything into that break. But in so doing, lost control. Didn't get the right hit on the one ball. The difficulty of nine ball pool of Q Sports on the highest level. Trying to play as if it means nothing while it means everything. Playing for the gap between the five and eight. Extension. Extension code. Difficult here to not be tempted to play force draw with right spin. But he's there. Tricky shot. Does he play the three to the same pocket? Nice.
Go to the long rail. Is she holding the cue ball? Just keep it together. Control the cue ball. Like to be just about where he's now. Mm -hmm. Towards the nine. Or does he need to go to the long rail left of the nine? He has struggled with shots with spin, hasn't he? I know he's, he seems to have improved a little bit as the day's gone on, but he's had tip problems, obviously. And the Q sponsor, so he's got to get into this. He's hit the eight. He has hit the eight ball. Hmm. Okay, he can attack the bank. He can play containing safety. There's no aggressive safety available. to put it behind the nine. Wow. Double kiss the seven. Uh, if it's a snooker, he got really lucky. Yeah, I think he's been a very, very lucky boy there. What's the cue ball here? Just flicked it again to send it over. Isn't it nice to be playing nine ball, Chris? A lot of heat out there. Extension coat. Go to the top rail. Okay, could, you know, he's got to come with a shot here. If he's going to play it in this side, they can see. Yeah, he'll be tempted to look at the bank. He's doing so. Oh, I think you got to go in the side, mate. Really? I'm I'm banking this. Why would you bank it when you can pot? When I'm feeling like I think Chris Melling is feeling, I'll go for the bank. Yeah, but he's missed every bank he's gone for. <laughs> well, he has. I mean, I'm just... Why go for the bank? I don't well, get it. He missed it. Which doesn't mean that he would choose differently next time. You know, w we can ask him. you got to go for the pot, though. Especially, you know, he's, he's such a good cueist, the potter. Even if you're not feeling it, you've still got to tell yourself, I'm going to knock it in. And it was because of where the eight was why it lended itself even more to the pot for me, but what a wreck this has been. Two chances for Mellon to get on the hill. But it's so so who gets Winter on Rock. the hill. Wow, what a moment we've got brewing here. It would be nice actually to have a camera upstairs in the players lounge because I think it's there where, where Wukon Lin and Woodward are at the moment. Just to see their faces. See if they're dancing on the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, top 10 players advance to stage two. Chris Melling is on 11, just below the, the line. Wukun Lin, Woodward, just above. Rock eight. Chris Melling to break. That happening for Strickland on Rating table two. two three. Loses the opening three racks. Strickland's chances. Well, they're gone. He's only on four points. And after he's played Pelovanovic, he's only going to have two matches left. Melin's been punished from the mistake in the rack before. I always like to see that, though, you know, Alex, me. Is that bad of me or good? You know when you make an absolute clanger in the rack before? I hate it when you get an easy break and run. Of course, yeah. It's not supposed to be. And often it doesn't happen. The thing that actually happens a lot, I feel, uh, is the tilt break. The tilt break. Like, if you play an alternate break format, like here in the PLP, it's possible that you miss the nine and then have to break in the next rack. And then often you'll see a player overhitting the break. Beautiful safety shot there from Melin. Controlled both balls to perfection. Now, there is room to go to the right side, long rail, behind the eight ball. There's an opening, and then we draw, arc that cue ball into the two. 
that for me is an easier kick shot than what she's playing here. Right before the side pocket and Kubel's gonna bend. Tough. She got there, nice. Beautiful hit. Now, roll this two ball in and hope that you're not Chinese snookered on the eight ball. Yeah, he's under pressure here. He's got to knock one in. It's near the rail. Yep, went in clean. Little straight on the three. This is tough. I don't know if the pocket is open on the left for the four ball. Yeah, regardless of the four ball, you've got to really put some power in this. You can see he's, he's struggling with his bridge and doesn't use the loop that often, but he's going to loop. But there you see the long cue action of Melly and gets back with ease. Good shot. Yeah, problem is solved. Now it's just about keeping position. Extension code. He can go forward and avoid the six ball right and come back out. Yeah, it looks like it. Two rails, trace of left spin. Would be difficult to overrun the mark here on the five. Oh, he's playing low. Hmm. Still good. Uh, uh, skid, skid alarm. Yeah, plus... You know, you should be further down the table. Let's not kid ourselves. So he has to come with another shot here. He may risk going into the eight. He could hit the eight half ball and keep all over near the six. But he's a tip foot and it's perfect. Nice Where's the eight going to finish? <laughs> well, that would have been interesting. I think it is interesting, you know. I don't think it goes in the side. It's a little bit like SVB's before, but on the other side of the table. Good thing is, though, where the seven is, he can hold that rail if he wanted to. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, there's a bit of an angle. No, he's OK, sorry. Now I've seen that angle. Hold the rail. Yep. Hold your nerve. Nice out by Chris. Two balls away. Would be a nice out. Pinched the pocket a little bit there. That would just help the cue ball come off to make this nine easier. Chris we got action, Mr. Lele. Melin needs the point. So Soa needs the point because she wants to get off the bottom of the table, of course. And it's going to be a one-rack shootout here on centre court. Yeah, good stuff by Chris Melling. He's not feeling tipped up, but he holds it together. Keep the heat on Soa. The other table, Peglivanovic, still in the commanding lead over Earl Strickland. Peglivanovic, really mechanical in this PLP event. The mechanic. The deciding rock. So, so, to break. So, so to break. She's made a ball. She has made a ball. She's going to have some form of chance. Well, she's got a chance on the one. Let's, is there a 2 9 combo, Alex? I think there's a 2 9 combo here. Easy. Keep breathing, Carl. Yeah, it's on. And the rest of the balls are situated pretty difficult. Ah. Oh. Chris will know. He knew straight away. That's just the instinct of a, of a pool player. She's got to get far enough down the right-hand side table. If you don't come far enough down... Yeah, that's far enough. Yeah, that's going to be good enough. It's a little too far. <laughs> it's a little too far, Alex. He's overrun the mark by quite a bit. I don't think she'll be attacking the 2-9. Side pocket looms large because it's a very thin clip on the two ball. Yeah, even though the 2-9, there you can see the 2-9 was available, but it was all about Station where the cue ball finished. Now, if she cuts the 2 to the side pocket, I think she'll run into the 9 and off of the 9 go towards the 3 and 8. 
So with a chance for position, she's elevating. She's playing the pot here in the left centre. Well, this is all that Chris Mellon can ask for. After the break, he would have been a worried man, let yeah. me tell you. Still tough, eh? Very tough, but it's it's a lot tougher sat in your chair. Than <laughs> yeah, you can't you know. win from your chair. But this shot with a little angle, if you force it with top spin, the cue ball's gonna put the brakes on after hitting the short rail. That's about the most he could do. More speed would slow the cue ball down more. Yeah, smart shot there just to give himself a chance. Not tempting fate, but he's been missing a few of these type of shots. Missed one in the very opening match against Jason Shaw. Put everything into this, he knows that. Forget the cue ball. Got to pop the ball. Oh, nice. Yeah, nicely done. Gonna have to go rail first, which is not the end of the world. Uh, uh. Off of the short rail, it's not easy. It needs to be thin on the four. No, I'm saying long rail. Uh, is there enough room? Yeah, I believe there is. All right, he'll make it, but how big is that eight ball? Yeah, if he's it thick. But there is a big, a big long rail there to hit. I still think he's okay, Alex. Listen, you're four four. This is your shot. If he makes it get shaped, he's out. Correct. Oh, shot. wow, I didn't see Ball that hand. coming. I just did not see that coming. I'm not saying it was the easiest shot in the world, but... Start the clock. The rail was tough. Wow. I mean, when he hit the nine ball, the cue ball could have gone anywhere, but you don't have to land perfect on the four, but you always feel like, why is it landed there? Now can so so finish this match off the oh, nine ball. Oh. She's okay though. Mm. She's okay. Yeah, the thing is, do you get this position from your opponent or do you put yourself there? More pressure here. Yeah, but it's missable. Yeah, but I've no reason to believe she's gonna mess these up. She hits the ball well. I mean she she still can. Yeah, that type of shot, she's good at that type of shot. Clean. Well, all she's got to do is get the cue ball out into the centre of the table because the nine is sat over the middle pocket. So as long as she comes over, you know, she can just soft this in. This has been an incredible match. Mellon will be kicking himself because a win there, well, he, he was right in the mix and now he's got it all to do. Yeah, missed chances to get to the hill first, missed chances to finish this match in a 5-4 result. And then so, 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 so uh, from South Korea seals the deal.